what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm just so excited for this week's video because it's not your usual sit down and listen to me talk video so i just really hope you guys like this kind of thing and enjoy it make sure you keep watching all the way to the end because i have a special treat for you and go ahead and like share subscribe so that you can get notified every time that i upload a new video every tuesday and i just hope you guys enjoy Comment down below what you think about the video and if you want me to do more videos like this so that I will know. Alright guys, enjoy! What's up everybody? So this week's video is just going to be a vlog video because we are having our church youth lock-in this weekend and with all of that going on, it's been really busy and... Um, planning for a regular video was just kind of hard as well as shooting for one because I've been running around between school work and trying to get stuff together for the lock-in so I don't think I'm gonna have time to actually film a regular video or a chit chatty video so I'm just gonna take you all with me this weekend as we go through our lock-in and all of our events for this weekend i hope you guys enjoy i hope you have fun watching us and you know hopefully some fun stuff happens and some funny things happen and you guys have a good time because i'm gonna have a good time and i can't wait i'm super super excited to do with the youth as well um, because I help him and I you know help him put together events help him think of events whatever so I'm going to go get them and we're gonna head to the church early so we can go set up everything make sure everything is in place um, I'm gonna go grocery shopping for breakfast tomorrow and um, I'm not sure if Tim wants me to go get the sandwiches that they're gonna eat tonight just for like a bit of a snack or something or no an actual meal because we're getting together at six or we're supposed to be coming together at six which is kind of like dinner time so if if the kids haven't eaten or anything then you know we want to make sure they eat something so I'm gonna go get some chips and all that kind of stuff because they're gonna have some sandwiches um, tonight for dinner from Jimmy John's I think I think it's from Jimmy John's but yeah so I am on the way home I'll catch y'all back when I get with them y'all see my little lovelies every time you hear barking in my video this is what you hear Layla hey Layla and Roxy. You're crazy, girl. Okay, bye. I'm going in the house now. <clears throat> Daddy! Hey, Dad. What you doing? Oh. Okay. Ryo didn't get home yet? Oh, I thought I saw her bus. I guess I need to pack now. 
Why you got the TV so loud? That's not my pop pop. That's your pop pop. Don't talk to me like that. So you just say pop pop did it. Milk chocolate. Come here and meet the vlog. What's up, everybody? So, this is Rael, one of my nieces, and that's Chris. Yeah, say hey. 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 So, what did you say? Um, do you have any boots I can fit? No, I don't have no boots you, boots you can fit. Your feet are little. You're still like a seven, six or seven. Okay. I'm wearing a nine. I'm a um seven and a half. I wear a nine. What? There goes the jammies, but they your jammies right there clean, right? And I washed them. Oh, I can tell. Just some jeans and a shirt. What? I got to go home on my gum, my heart, and my daddy, huh? That's cute. Because... Uh, so you can wear that with them dark ones. I'm going to get a hookah book. A hookah book. I'm going to get a hookah book. I think it'll be quiet. Somewhere in these tents today. I'm going to put tomorrow. So these go with this old. Yeah, I think you can wear that for tomorrow. Uh, yeah. That's a little. It is. I never wore it in a real long time. Why you don't get freedom? Uh, freedom can still fit her. In the folk. Try oh yeah, that looks short. It's it's right. in the smoke. It is short. Be tight. Mm -hmm. eh, oh, eh, eh. Please please be quiet. I just want you to be quiet. Let me smell your breath. Am I allowed to have four? Oh, it's my good. Yeah. He can have what? Whole back. Oh, like holy back. Like yeah. I just got to be right today. No. Uh, every time I accidentally go, 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 go,
and drinks and all that kind of stuff for tonight and then i also have to get the breakfast food for tomorrow so we're on the way to the store now and this car is driving so slow so how was school y'all school was good girl you about to get a hit today i was on the computer and my teacher she was like man hey, what are you doing and then i, I was like i didn't say nothing and he was like you're supposed to be on your project because i was supposed to be reading a book on there and i was reading a book and then she was so mean today she said your recess is mine. Oh, that's and then, petty. And then I had to be on the wall and I wanted to cry, but my tears kept going back in my eyeballs and it would come out. This sun is not playing. Like, it's so bright. Like, oh I my thought, goodness. And I thought the teacher was going to give me a bad, um, a bad, like, on my own. Well, like an E or S or whatever the other ones are? Yeah, but she gave me an E and I was so surprised with all that D, all she did. So you whispering. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about her. I can't hear you. I was so sad today. My At least you gotta eat. Mama. She got on your nerves. <laughs> All because of that? Because you she wasn't did. doing what you were supposed to be doing? Because it took a long time for reset. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know because we had headphones on. And I didn't hear her. You didn't hear her what? I didn't hear her say, get on my project. I didn't hear her. Oh. What were you on? I was reading a book on my on my own. Oh yeah, you did say that. Mm. Well, today in school, I was in language art class, and we were supposed to make a rap about the importance of the the importance of learning how to write. I did the rap, but I thought writing in fractions was gonna rhyme, so I said I said uh, 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 something about writing, and you can learn your fractions that way. When I did it, I was like, oh my god, that does not rhyme. I was so embarrassed. Not all raps rhyme, but most of them do. Or a lot of them do. Yeah, yeah. you could say writing, fraction, that's why I'm rapping. <laughs> Today, I was talking on the computer, I was writing, I was typing something, and I was trying to spell etc. with only the three letters. The ETC? I picked EC. <laughs> and I just didn't know what to pick, so I didn't do it. Freedom. This is your bank. So, 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 uh, what, the other half of my cake? No. What's in the bag then? Black, oh. Black thing. Oh. I didn't know how to spell it, so I actually tried to spell oh, the word. Oh, wait, on this side. And I also didn't know how to spell it. Should we go to Kroger or Walmart? I like Walmart better. They have a lot of stuff. I yeah, don't, but I don't want to Kroger. Kroger had those healthy snacks though. Yeah, no. but Kroger has like the Kroger Plus cards, so I can get a discount off of some stuff. Yeah, nobody got time. Nobody's spending all that money. In Kroger, I think in Kroger their lights are so dark. It's like orange. Man, sixth grade is hard. Oh, girl, slow down. Just mm -hmm. about hit me. Am I speeding? Let me know. It's quiet. Yeah, we gotta stay up until like twelve o'clock. I always stay up. All these bugs. You got to stay up past them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't care what time y'all go to bed. I'm going to stay closer to the end. It's not going to be like the very last thing we do. But I'm going to do it before y'all get sleepy. So we'll probably do it around 10 o'clock. So y'all, we just got to Walmart. So we're about to go in here and get these groceries and these snacks. All right, y'all, so we in Walmart. Hey, how are you? We're great. So we're getting in Walmart, and, like, every time I come to Walmart, I go straight to, like, the knitting section and stuff. We need to go to the groceries, which I think are this way. Wait. I think the groceries are, are that way, yeah. But every time I come in here, I just go straight to, like, the knitting and stuff like that. So I don't... I don't know what's in this Walmart, and I don't know. But Freedom was like, don't we need to get a cart? Girl, yes, because who about to be carrying all these breakfast groceries and stuff? Okay. Right, are you gonna carry them? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Exactly, come on. 
sorry y'all so we're back here because my camera died and now I'm in traffic a little bit but why why is it going so slow in this lane like I just want to go faster comment below if you're from Atlanta and you hate Atlanta traffic like I hate being in Atlanta traffic or even if you're not from Atlanta but you have experienced Atlanta traffic like comment below and tell me how you feel because I'm a little salty I'm a lot salty because I just don't like being in traffic I hate driving super slow like I don't speed but I don't like I like to drive the speed limit or like five above the speed limit and be like constantly like consistently moving I hate stopping when there's no need to stop like I hate that hey y'all what's up so it's been a long time my phone was dead y'all but now we're in a portion where Tim is talking about God with the kids having a discussion and everything so y'all sit in on this the question is what are some things that God does like Okay, okay. So, what are some other things God like? Oh, um, yeah. Go. What's your name? My name's Mari. He likes when you pray. When you pray, somebody said that already. Can you think of anything else? I know. I'll give you a chance. I'll come oh, back. Oh no, I'm not recording you. I'm recording you. Go. What's your name? Soraya. Soraya. And what are some things God like? He's right. Um. Just just being good. Like good spirits. He does. Whoa, okay. Good. Uh, Gracie. Um, my name is Gracie. God, um, if you believe in him and God will forever and you will come. That's good. God likes, you know what that means? God likes us when we don't cook. Okay, when we use good language. When we have good language. Okay. Well, sometimes. Yeah, all the time. You should have your life. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. Don't let nobody tell you different. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we're back. All the kids are getting snacks and stuff. Um, I guess we could go back here and see what they are doing. You about to get some what? You about to tell me some what? The DiGiorno? They can eat. I mean, it's take it's, it's faster than picking it up too. I guess. All right, I'm coming. You staying? You leaving? They just volunteered my car. They did. No, I got here. Yeah, they did. What light? What light? A flashlight. It is when she walk out. I think it's censored. No, it's not censored. Um, I wonder they touch this. Oh no, I could just feel it. It's cold. So we're about to go back here and see about these kids.
It's time for you to abide in me and let my word abide in you. Not just the written word, but the word that was made flesh, the Holy Spirit. And he says, when the Holy Spirit is in you, now we're going to start establishing a relationship because we do things together. Friends hang out. Amen? Amen. But then there's some friendships we have that we need to establish with God. God, I want you to be my friend. God, I want you to be the person I can talk to. And, and do you have, have anybody got a friend that you can talk to and you can share your greatest, deepest secrets with them in your most darkest place? And when you share it with them, you know it's all right. You ain't yeah. going to hear it back. Right, man. Everybody don't have those kind of friends. Everybody don't have the kind of friend, instead of stabbing you in the back, they're ripping your back and encourage you and say, hey man, it's gonna be all right. Honey, it's gonna be okay. Brother, sister, it's gonna be all right. But this is the kind of relationship that God wants to establish with you. God says, I wanna be your Lord, I wanna be your savior, but I wanna be your friend. And I want you to get this thing in the concept and in the way that God gave it to me because God wants you to establish friendship. That's why anybody who's not married yet, you need to go and establish a friendship with this person before you try to establish a, rem a romantic relationship. And, and don't get caught up in that season where everybody's ready to be married. Oh my God, Lord, this one got married last week. Now when my husband coming? When my this coming? When my that coming? When it's coming? And that's all we want to know. But then you got to say, Lord, I need to pray. Somebody say pray. pray. This whole message is focused on prayer. I need to pray so God can show me how to be your wife. Mm -hmm. I ain't getting no amen. Mm -hmm. I need to pray so God can show me how to be a husband. Amen. Amen? amen? Because every woman ain't a wife and every man ain't a husband. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be a part of our crew and you can get notified every single Tuesday when I upload a new video. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Just remember, I love you. God loves you. You are loved.